Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebo Joe and this is Sweet Transit, a city builder that is like Anno, but is also completely train based on the infrastructure. Everything you have to do has to be done by train, so a lot of track, a lot of everything. There's no auto turnaround on the train, so you actually have to think about how your track has to run so your whole system can work. Now you can trick them a little bit by putting two trains back to back, but that's not really what we want to do. Block signals is the name of the game. If you're not familiar with those, I will explain all that to you as well. And we're going to see how big we can make this map. And map, honestly, is super simple. New game, Paris, our new world. I haven't played Paris yet. I don't want to play Paris, but this is our map. Um, there's some water, there's some land. There is, if you zoom in a little bit, a little bit of everything. And that's really all, all we care about. I probably want a little bit more green. So if you want to play, this one's good. It's 42952. That's the seed if you want to play with this on a 64 by 64 map. But yeah, let's go. How about we talk about the UI and controls a little bit first. So zoom in and zoom out should be pretty self-explanatory. Then you have coal mines and other things. Coal is your main fuel for your trains. They are steam power trains, so you need coal. So keep that in mind when you, when you build anything else. So it's good to see those first. There's a coal mine. It looks like there's no like volume or limit to it, which is pretty nice. Then there are trees. I don't think they really matter because you built them yourselves. You can pick what time of the day it is. So there's also like lighting and other things that matter there. Uh, there's daytime, there's your money, if you, if you have problems, stations, trains, and so on. So there's a bunch of stats up here. Um, and then your current quests and your current problems and your current things are up here. The UI, you may say, is not the most fleshed out, but honestly, it makes perfect sense after you start playing it. So I'm not gonna be too worried about that. Something that's important, water actually matters because you use it to feed your people. So we don't just want to ignore the water. We have to get close to the water. We have to get close to the coal mine and so on. Otherwise, this game is going to be over very, very quickly. And looking at this, there are a couple of rocks so you can't build on rocks. But looking at this, there's a lot of coal going on over here. There's a lot of, what's this, a lot of rock. Ouch. So, yeah, no, I, th I think we're going we're gonna to start over here. Cool. What's the first thing we do? We have to build a warehouse. Build warehouse. Where's the warehouse? Well, there's some construction menu down here. And uh, we just got to click the right thing. Industries. There we go. Once you're, if you're too far zoomed out, you can't place anything. So we got to get in a little bit and build this warehouse. Now zoom out. There is a large square around this warehouse. You cannot build a city within that square. And the warehouse is also going to be something relatively central. Central to your um, to your behavior. So try not to have too many natural resources in there. There's a coal mine right here, so I don't wanna take that up. Um, how about we just throw you right there. Now we have a warehouse, cool. There's the warehouse and it's really not that long of a distance, but it's relatively long, so don't underestimate that. But we have a warehouse. Now the next thing we have to do is build a village. And that is again over here, your build list and a village hall. This village is going to be everything, um, well, that, that we're going to build from here on out. As you can see, the village cannot be built within the warehouse radius. So we can't go there. There's a little bit of coal here. I don't want to actually take that up if I don't absolutely have to. So how about we plop our village right here in the middle of stuff. It's called Pimple. Beautiful name. <laughs> Developers with a little sense of humor are something to be reckoned with, I suppose. And now we start with our actual city building part. That's the first thing you have to do. Um, for that, we need wood. You harvest this yourself. Stone, what's this, clay, bricks, and coal. You, you get all of this yourself, and it's currently stored in the warehouse. Warehouses across the map are connected. So those are your resources that you need. And if you want to build something, like we do right now, you click on the city, and then you can build houses. Houses cost um, 10, 10 boards, cool, and a thousand money. <laughs> we'll, we'll just call it a thousand coin, maybe, or credits. I don't know. And then upkeep is also one piece of wood per piece of building. And they need food, they need clothing. They can have up to 30 people in it. Cool. Let's start with these. Now, I like to place them in a group of four. Why? Because, well, group of six is also fine, honestly. Why do I like this? Because 
If you do any more than groups of this size, you will run into trouble with your um, paths, which we also have to add. So paths has to be added. So these can actually reach different areas of the town, which if you played Anno should feel very familiar. So we're just gonna add these. I don't think there's fire, uh, but if there is someone <laughs> should probably warn me, but there you go. Sometimes it's actually nice to have a couple single spots free there because um, well, we need a population first and then they will let us do something else. So let's run this forward just a little bit so people can move in. There they are, running around everywhere. Cool. Now we slow this game down again because we need a water tower. Water tower, get away, tooltip. Water towers are these guys. Now you can see with the blue stuff, that's what they can reach. And if you look really closely, you can see that they're not going to reach everything. If I put one here, excuse me, if I put one there, and there are these couple buildings over here that won't have a water tower. And I don't have the perfect answer to where water towers should go in this game. I have not played enough. I, I don't know enough about the game to make that type of uh, deliberation or um, recommendation yet. But I do know that we need food. Food we get from here. So we're just going to plop one of those guys down and then connect you to the rest of the, let's call it a network. Because why not? Now, this guy's complaining. This guy's complaining because no storage in range. So we have to build a little storage building right behind it. So this is all stuff that you get. Hold on. Please hold. <laughs> Let me move my face. Oh, much better. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so this all gets explained in the tutorial. So I'm skipping over this a little bit, but it should all make sense for some reason. Uh, somehow it was able to place one of these guys down here. It's B for removal? Nope, not for removal. I would like to trash this house because that's not what I wanted. Give me this guy uh, nice and close to this. It is nice to have this building have a nice reach because that will help us later on. So now that one is in reach and not enough workers. There aren't enough worker people here and there they are coming in, going to work. Beautiful. Well, that's a start, right? <laughs> We're doing something. Uh, can we do more things? Yes, we absolutely can. And we absolutely should do more. So now we're just going to wait until we have a population of 100, which right now we should have more than enough space here. Something that is kind of interesting, kind of weird, is the, the city itself, Pimple in this case, has a rating. And the rating is for attractiveness. If you want it to be more attractive, you need to plop down things like trees and other things. But apparently we don't have that unlocked yet. So reach population of 400 laborers is our next goal. But I think we can start building our first train. Just making sure that my camera is not blocking anything else. But there you go. Um, we can build our first train. So let's do that. To do that, we need our train build list right here. It's a little cumbersome, but you get used to it relatively quickly, so don't hate it too much. Uh, we're gonna start with probably a small station like this. It doesn't, this station where exactly it plops down does not make a humongous difference, but as you can see, there's a catchment radius for the station itself. So it does matter where um, it gets its peoples from. So what I've learned, I guess if we go here, yeah, they're, they're kind of the same on both sides. What I've learned is uh, you do want the track to run around. It's, it's important. You want to be able to, like, you cannot, it's harder to build a terminal station than a runaround station. So I think that's what I'm going to concentrate on for right now. But I might change my mind on that. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't put it past me. Let's build this platform with a certain length. I think 9-4 right now is fine. We can always extend this later on. You could build a bridge, looks like this, to connect like multiple platforms with multiple things. You can even build it on top of your station. It's pretty cool, huh? Um, but I don't believe we need that at this point. So station is right there. I will add the coal shack right next to it, coal storage, because that could help. Later on, when we need coal, we don't need it right now, but we will need it eventually. And um, there you go. That's our first station. What are we going to do with that station? Well, we need to get some coal. And we need to get to the warehouse. Now the warehouse is a little further away than I wanted it, but we're just going to leave it there. That's fine. Um, there's coal on the way here. So how about we build a small little industry? Coal mine right there. Thank you. Thank you, Tooltip. 
Um, the village hall is too close. We cannot build here. Okay, no problem. Let's build here. Where else is too close? We can't build there. Okay, let's build here. Yep, it's right happy right there. Um, and now we have to build our coal pile. So this should become relatively automatic. You shouldn't have to think about this. So I hope this all makes enough sense. I just have to plop things down. And now we actually have to worry about bringing people to work and also taking people away from work, like bringing them back from where they are right now. I'm gonna put the station right here, um, make this about as long as what we just had in the city. I think I had nine, it may have been less than that. And now this station is connected to this coal mine, so that is wonderful. I'm putting the platform on that side because there's a rock here. I don't, I don't wanna deal with that. So. Now we can actually start placing some rail. And this should be relatively straightforward. Let's just see where we are here. We could build out um, the rail station at this point if we really wanted to, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. I will make give this one a little turnaround spot, and that's nice. And then probably have somewhat parallel track running, running different ways. How about you just connect to there? But, does not matter that much how it looks, but I would like it to look a little better than what this is. So let's delete a little bit of this, get a little bit more track connected right there, and then get some track connected right here. And this is the turnaround uh, route that we will want. Cool. No, I don't want to turn around on that side. So I guess the turnaround loop will just be here. I haven't decided which direction we're actually gonna go yet, but um, that's a start. It's not, it's not the prettiest, but it will take care of things. We need another station connected to our warehouse because that's where most of our stuff has to go. And if you want to twist it and you use Q and E to rotate it, not twist, that looks good. Make it, that's going to be a proper station. You do pay some um, up, upkeep fee on this, I believe. I wonder if I put this on this side. Oh, it's connected too. Perfect. I didn't know that was a thing, but we don't need these yet. So we're going to take those out. Excellent. Um, let's connect this with some more track. I'm not going to go super pretty on track because right now it's much more important that things work than anything else. I think I've decided what our direction is on the track itself. It's going to go this way. And then from here, um, this will just turn around and get back onto, onto this track like so. This should give us a good chance to have all the connections that we need and anything else that may be important at some point. Let's make a um, train depot. Looks like this. The length of your train depot the, um, matters for the length of your trains. So this is not just a thing that you have to build. You actually have to build something that's big enough for whatever you want to do. So 10 is the max length for right now. Um, I'm sure there's some upgrades later on that I can use to get even a little bigger than that. But we get a little connection here. Now we have a train depot. And now the big piece. Uh, before we buy trains, I will signal up everything so it all works. Now there's a rail signal right here. Um, you may be familiar with this. This could also be a block signal or something else like that. And then you have a rail chain signal. This is the signal you place somewhere if you don't... Now, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. So block signals work like this. Thank you. Got it. And there's also a tutorial for this if it doesn't make sense. This is a simple block signal, okay? It looks in the block in front of it if it can enter the block in front of it. I'm going to place it like this. If there's a train in this block right here, the thing that's red, not orange, or now white, um, if there's no train in front of it, this signal will be green. If there's a train in front of it, this signal will be red. Pretty simple. Um, here is a chain signal. The chain signal is not looking at the track right in front of it. The train signal is, or the chain signal is looking at the next signal. Okay, so this ch uh, chain signal is going to be green if this block signal is green or this block signal is green. It can, it can pick out whichever one it wants from that. So um, the, the piece in the middle doesn't matter, but that means the train that waits here will not enter this junction unless it can continue past the next signal. Does it really matter in this situation right here? No, no. You could totally do this just with a normal rail signal. It will probably be fine, but once you get into bigger junctions, this will 100% matter. So just get used to doing it the right way and you should never have any trouble. 
it would be good if you keep your rails uh, rail signal blocks um, about as long as your shortest train as your longest train um, but I don't think it's completely necessary and changing that is also relatively simple so I wouldn't stress that too much right now but again good practice is better and then what I always like to say is use your chain signal to enter any junction and use your block signal or rail signal in this case to exit any junction so that's the exit here's the entrance um, entrance there and so on so you just place a couple signals and then we can get started I almost forgot we're gonna have more than one train we need a train for cargo but we also need a train for passengers so uh, sometimes it will be helpful to have track um, not like this to have track that can bypass your whatever you have going on so we're gonna do it like this and we're gonna use the same um, system that I told you before with a chain to enter chain to enter on both of these sides and then a block to exit that junction um, yeah, it's it's not complicated. You, you'll probably get used to it after a while, but there you go. If you really want to, there are blueprints of other things, like here's a simple um, Y junction, looks like. Here is a four-way junction. They're all connected to something. Pretty cool. And then you can make your own, um, well, not your own blueprint, but this is a station. I don't know why it's a B, but there's a nice passing track too. So um, there are a couple things that should help you make things work, which is wonderful. Great. Let's produce some stuff. First, we need to add a train to the queue. Again, the UI is a little um, not, you, you get used to it once you do the tutorial. So please, please, please do the tutorial on here. Don't take this as your only guide, but it's fine. And then what we're gonna do is get some trains. First, we need a locomotive, the ST10, wonderful. And I would think we're gonna start with some passengers. So one, two, how many passengers do we need? That is a great, great question because I'm pretty sure I just added too many. Um, how do I remove this one? No, that's just moving it around. Right click, ooh, right click. Okay, so 40 passengers can go into one of these guys, okay? And it tells you that in a couple, a couple different places. Wonderful. How many people do we need to work at the coal mine? Well, we need, sorry, wrong button. We need 40 workers. So just one wagon will be enough to make the coal mine happy and actually do work. So we should do that. Otherwise, we're just adding things to add things and that can be fun, but it's not what we're gonna do right now. Um, how many times do you wanna buy one? Um, this is a preset name. This is a single tax. Cool. I don't know if you can, can you? That's a tender. That's not what we wanted. This extends the range of your trains. Um, yes, you can mix it. I, I haven't tried this. I wanna see how this works. So we're gonna do this. Um, it will be great. I don't know if it's actually going to work, but I hope it will. So we have one wagon picking up passengers and so on. Cool. Let's build that train. Do we need anything else fancy? I don't think so. Cool. We have a train with no route. So let's add a route. Route one is what? We don't have a route yet. The routes are over here. Let's close this. And our route one, this is the coal and packs name it whatever you want it's fine select the destination and now this is a little cumbersome i still think but i think it's fine we're going to go to pimple one to pick up passengers you do want to um add a wait condition until done uh it's usually fine but sometimes you want something different so until done is good there then as the next destination you want the coal mine one yep um you want to swap workers okay can we do visit, pass, load, unload? How about load? See, this is why I'm not sure if it works um, with, that was the wrong button. I'm not sure that it works with the setup that I have right now. So go to coal mine, you're gonna load, you're gonna swap workers, maybe at the same time, until done, until done. We're gonna load stuff for time pass. So don't wait too long, I think is what I want. That looks good. And then the last one, we just go to the warehouse and hopefully unload some coal. But the coal should also be unloaded at any of the um, actual stations. So that should be fine. Let's see what happens. Uh, deploy. Advice. Swap. Workers allows you to load and unload. Okay. Warehouse, we don't want that. We want to unload whatever you have. Swap workers here. That's good. And we'll, we'll just see what happens. Um, 
Again, I'm not convinced that's gonna work, but it's really easy to find out. So let's click this button to locate the train. Can we hide the UI somehow? You? No? Um, I don't know how to hide the UI, but that's fine. We can definitely speed it up a little bit to see what happens. So, I expect you to load your passengers. Very, very good. And you actually put into the station, which is also very, very good. Now you take all your workers down here. Very nice. And um, the mine should now have enough workers. You are not unloading your workers. It says load coal for 20 seconds. Okay, that's fine. And then swap workers. Oh, you do. You do the thing. Cool. Do you have workers here? Yes, you're unloading. So this totally works. The only thing I would have to change is let's look at our routes. When you get to Pimple, um, I would also like you, so I want you to swap workers there, but I also want you to um, unload, exactly. So warehouse one, you don't have any coal loaded yet, which is fine. Can we just go to Pimple instead? Yes, go there. We don't have to go to the warehouse. Oh. You're taking a different path, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out some thingies here. Why are you two out of three? Two out of three what? Get a couple of coal storages here, so coal can actually be unloaded there when we need it. Same thing for the warehouse. Give me a couple of coal storages. Um, that looks good. And see that this guy's actually going to pick up some extra coal when we get to the coal mine next. So, are there people on board? There are people on board, very good. Uh, trains need fuel to move more efficiently. Yes, I understand that. Now, this is the first one. Just gonna wait there. Are you full of coal? You are full of coal and you still have people sitting there. Now, this is something I'm still trying to understand. There are currently workers in the coal mine, right there, 40 of them. And uh, they're producing just fine. They will be tired at some point. Let's see when that happens. We're still producing just just fine, so I guess I guess we don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm hoping that you're gonna unload some coal right here. Very nice. Uh, so hurry up a little bit and we follow the train again. I know it's a little fast, but you unload the coal there, you unload your people there, and they're gonna come back. And life should be really, really, really excellent. I like that I can combine these trains. I really, 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 really do. Um, you can't do that in every single game. I don't think I want time passed anymore. I just want to do until done. Should be a little faster. I expect you to still be full of coal. Very good. And then you're swapping out a bunch of passengers. Very nice. And life is pretty good. Hard working. Uh, so it might be workers eventually tire and need to rest. A tired worker cannot go to work. It must be swapped for rested workers. Workers can rest only at home and their rest speed is affected by happiness. Cool. So, yeah, this is our start. Uh, obviously, we have some workers here. We can fill this up to 600. Very good. We have one train that's doing its thing. We have the warehouse that is full of coal right now, which should mean that our train um, should start not dropping off coal anymore. So let's do a couple quick runs with this guy. You're filling up with coal here. Good. You're switching out the workers there. Good. And you only unload it a little bit there, and you're going to unload a little bit here, and that is exactly what I expected to do. So one train can start making us whatever we need. I think most of the money comes in from taxes anyway, so all you care about is that everyone is as happy as can be. Now, Pimple, can we do some landscaping? I was hoping that we could. Expansion? No. Here. What's this? Coal mine? No. Sawmill? That's probably the next thing we do. Um, in the next episode. Cool. Well, this is the start. I think we're doing pretty okay. We just have to produce some wood now, and that's just going to be the next industry, and probably the next train will look very similar to what we're doing right now. But I am happy that it's going the way it's going right now, because it's maybe the best start that I had. Thank you for the double train. Um, cool. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Tran... Sweet Transit. That's the name. Sweet Transit. Yes. Um, there will be a few more of these, and then you have to tell me if you really, really like this or really, really don't. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.